hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is Casey and I'm currently 36 weeks pregnant so this video is very due to be done because baby boy can be here literally in like a week which is crazy disclaimer my face is breaking out so bad right now and also my eyebrows need them but my face is so bad and I'm so out of breath so there might be lots of pauses in this video I did just have a midwife appointment as well and they said baby boy is really really low down like she can barely feel his head so maybe that's a sign he's gonna be here soon fingers crossed if you can't tell by today's title this is going to be what I packed in my hospital bag. I have a completely separate video, which is everything I've got for baby boy. If you do want to see what I have packed for baby boy, that will be linked down in the description. And if you have watched that video, you know I have packed very minimal things. And that theme kind of follows into what I've packed for myself. I've also packed quite a few or I haven't packed that much to be honest so let's just see what I've packed I'm gonna open my bag and just pull things out as they come I guess I have chosen just a like small travel suitcase to put my things in because I didn't really need anything bigger and when it's open I can kind of just see everything there and it's really easy to find I'm going to start with like all my toiletries and sanitary kind of wear so if you this is going to be like a TMI kind of video we're talking about blood and aftercare of having a baby so if you're not interested in that skip ahead. The first thing I'm packing is just one pack of slim maternity pads. I don't plan on actually needing these to begin with. Um, but I have packed them just in case. I'm also planning, as much as you can plan, I'm planning a very speedy discharge after having the baby. So I'll be, fingers crossed, home quite quickly. But obviously you can never plan these things. These were an absolute lifesaver when I had my first baby. And I have chosen to bring them again. And that is just adult nappies. They... Are so much you don't have to have the faff of sticking something in your underwear and pulling your underwear up it's literally just change them so much easier so much more comfortable and just when you're in those first couple of days and there's really heavy bleeding I just found these so much more practical than using a pad and I've just got this little bag inside my other bag um, I don't even know where I got this. This I have had for years. In here, a friend did give me some disposable underwear. So I have got like three of those. They're like rolled up. So three of those. I've also packed some breast pads. I haven't packed loads because your milk doesn't really come in for like a couple days after you give birth. So they're only like a just in case. If I do need them, I'll just send Zach home to get some more but these should be good to begin with. I've got a pack of two toothbrushes, one for me and one for Zach. Some deodorant, shampoo and conditioner. These aren't what I usually use, but they were just the travel sizes. So I just picked those up. Some shower gel, which is just this Dove one. There's also a few hair bands just to tie my hair back while I'm in labor if I feel like it's in the way. I've got some lip gloss because everyone told me I'd have really dry lips last time um, if I used Gassonair and I didn't end up using the Gassonair because it made me feel sick but my plan is to give it another go this time so if I do get really dry lips I have got that and then obviously toothpaste to go with the toothbrushes. I will also be bringing my hairbrush with me but I use that on the daily, so that's like one last thing that I will just grab and put in the bag when I need it. That is one side of the bag done, and then moving on to the other side, which is all clothes. I have packed one single pair of socks. I have literally not been wearing socks since I've got pregnant. I've been wearing my Birkenstocks, and obviously they're sliders, so you don't wear socks with those, and I don't plan on 
wearing trainers or anything like that home so these are more just to walk around the hospital in um if my feet do touch the ground i don't really think they're that clean so i'd rather have socks on my feet than not i've got one nursing bra just in a like creamy beige color i bought these off amazon and i've already been wearing them and they are so comfy they just come down like that it's like a little pot and it just snaps down so i do have that to wear i've only packed one again because one i'll probably be wearing one in there and then changing out a bit to wear a gown or just a vest and at two i plan on doing loads of skin to skin with the baby so if i do have to stay i don't plan on really wearing a bra much that is a lie i have actually packed this super stretchy it's really old um just like a sports bra but it's not really that supportive kind of bra this one doesn't have the snap down thing but it's more of just like a comfy thing to throw on but it is super stretchy so i can just like pull it down if i wear this after the baby's born i have then packed a nursing vest everything is a bit creased because it's been in my bag for like over a week now um so it's just this plain white one and i actually gave birth to maggie in this which is so surprising because you'd think there'd be like blood and everything all over it but it all came out so again this has the like snap thing i have also packed one pair of pajamas which are just these super soft like camel kind of color super stretchy the top does button down which is really handy when you are breastfeeding so that just pops down like i said everything is really creased so it doesn't really matter then the last thing for clothes is my going home outfit this is another like pajama set but a bit more like a cozy lounge wear kind of thing so it's just this again another like camel like, jumper top this one it doesn't pop down but like i said i plan on wearing it home and when i get home i'll probably change into my pajamas again and then it's just these ribbed trousers which go with it and they are super super soft and the last thing that is actually currently in my bag is this comb so i've done quite a bit of research into hypnobirthing and I don't know how to I don't I can't think of the word I'm too pregnant my brain cannot think of the words right now other methods of pain relief I guess that's what I'm trying to say um I've heard so many good things about using a comb and basically you just like put it in your hand and every time you feel a contraction come in once it hits its peak you kind of give it a squeeze and it distracts you from the contraction apparently so I have got one of these just to give it a go see if it works if it doesn't then I've got a nice comb for my hair. That is everything that is currently in my bag. Now there are a few things that I will obviously be grabbing like last minute. I haven't decided if I'm going to take my tripod with me or not. That is potentially going to come with us. Obviously I will be grabbing my phone charger because I do not want my phone to die. I will be wearing whatever shoes, probably my sliders, or Birkenstocks, I will wear those to the hospital, so I haven't packed those. Um, I will probably choose to wear sliders because I will wear them in the shower if I have a shower at the hospital. The last thing is a water bottle. I haven't put that in my bag yet because I use that pretty much on the daily, but I will be bringing an, a water bottle that specifically has a straw in it. Now, I just think while in labour, that's so much more easier to drink you know having to lift it up i don't have to concentrate and zach can keep reminding me to drink and keep my fluids up so he could just like give me the straw in my mouth so that is pretty much i think everything that i am going to be bringing to the hospital with me i can't think of anything else that i am going to need like i mentioned in my what i packed in my baby's hospital bag if there is anything that I desperately need, 
I'm so lucky and fortunate to have the family around me so they will happily come and get things for me if I need them and where I live the partner can't stay at the hospital overnight so Zach would have to go home anyway he could bring things back if I need him to talking about Zach I will again last minute probably I haven't actually spoken to him about this I need him to pick some things out but he'll probably just bring like a pair of shorts a pair of comfy trousers a t-shirt and a jumper and whatever he's wearing and probably throw it in my bag just before we leave so that is everything for him most likely he'll end up using my deodorant because that's what he did with Maggie and it was just practical like we're not too fast we're not there for ages that is everything I have packed if there is anything you guys think I am seriously missing out and you would not be able to cope without it while you're in labour then let me know but I think I've pretty much covered the basics I'm really hoping for obviously a nice easy birth I had I had a really good birth experience with Maggie even though I was induced my plan this time is to go no pain relief but we'll see um I'd like a nice water birth or at least to labour in the pool and labour at home as long as possible but again we will see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe and there is going to be so much more content coming out in the next couple of weeks because honestly as soon as this baby is here there's going to be so much filming because I do not want to not have a single memory to look back on like i want to film everything so i hope you guys are ready for that journey and i'll see you soon bye